Ladies, and we are at our first of many episodes for our bag collection check. We're picking one of the best bags that I think would prize you guys because some of them are actually pre loved and from the 80s, from the past. You have to tra time travel back. And without further ado, let's start with our first bag. Shannon! Oh my gosh, this is actually a vintage 80s Gucci sling bag, crossbody bag. It has a monogram pattern. It has the Gigi logo here or the Gucci logo here in the shield. This is what you call the sherry line, the green and the red. And it's actually PVC. And considering it to be vintage, it's pretty. It's actually in pretty good shape. And it's lined with leather interior. It has the logo and heat stamp here. This is made in Italy. It has the, the code here. This one is one of the mothers of the Gucci Ophidia bags that you're now seeing in the Gucci store. So this one is the Gucci bag. For the next item, we have... Yes, this is the Fendi Mama Baguette. And it's one of the most trending bags that I have ever seen. A lot of influencers have been wearing this bag and a lot of uh, A-list celebrities. And it's made of suede slash lambskin. It has gold hardware, and you have that beautiful enamel here in the hardware. And it's satin interior and you have the gold hardware also inside. This one has the plastic still intact. It's made in Italy. It's condition. It's a, probably like 7 out of 10 because of the pen marks but this retails around $1,200 online so again the Fendi tomato red mama baguette Oops. next bag O M G another vintage item I think the time of the 80s was like just you know sleek black standalone leather calf bags this is a vintage christian dior standalone handbag slash and be a shoulder bag the standalone of this bag is just superb this one has the locking in front yeah, and when you open it it has a zipper closure plus you have two compartments also you have one zipper compartment and the pullers that they use are very very beautiful and you can actually remove them and turn them into a pendant for your necklaces this is made in france this one it was engraved here in the metal locking of the hardware they are very reliable because of their stitching and the materials that they use but wait there is more they also have this little tiny baby ones this mini handbag it looks like a mini documents bag it has very cute handle. I think you can also rock it with a sling if you have a chain sling available lurking somewhere. And this is a vintage Christian Dior. It also has this two zipper compartments and one open compartment in front. And you have the main compartment here. This is made in Spain. You have that beautiful uh, CD interior hologrammed inside. Corners are still in pretty good shape. Has normal signs of use, but overall the condition of this bag is very, very beautiful. I would recommend if you want to have a matching set with your daughter, this is the design to go. These are both beautiful Christian Dior bags. Okay, you know, this collection would not be complete if there is no Louis Vuitton. So, without further ado, we have this beautiful LV Monogram Saint Germain bag. This is one of a kind. Totally beautiful. It's like a flap type bag and it has a lot of compartments it has a zipper compartment in front and another zipper compartment what i can say about lv saint germain bags is that it is an everyday bag you can use it at any occasion at any time of the day and you have this beautiful vachetta leather already restored and refurbished it's just a really really beautiful sling bag you know if i would be looking for an lv sling bag this would probably be at the top of my list beside the lv saint cloud and for our next bag it's not just a bag it's not just a bag it's prada it's a prada bag you see this is a 
Prada duffel bag. It's a mini duffel bag and it's made with nylon tesuto. This one has very gorgeous hardware. It has one zipper compartment at the side and very spacious interior. This is made in Italy. The tag is also here and this is probably one of a kind in vintage because you don't get a lot of Prada bags in this condition and in this shape anymore. It feels around $790. This one actually has calf leather handle. This is a very very nice hand carry bag for an everyday use and if you want a very light handbag this Prada is the way to go mga sis. One of the next bags is a Givenchy bag. The Kelly top handle Givenchy bag in calf leather cream color. You have the iconic Givenchy logo here in front and it has a magnetic enclosure. And I so love the gold logo here. This is a standalone bag. Have another pocket compartment at the bag. Can be used for your daily grind in the office. And if you just want to look fashionable for the day, this is such a head turner bag for me. Givenchy in cream color. The collection is not complete without our Yves Saint Laurent bag. This is a very nice uh, YSL Tabas chic bag. It has gold hardwares. It is very, very nice if you guys are gonna go somewhere or if you're gonna use it at the office. It's like a mini weekender bag. I suggest to get like an organizer for these types of bags so that uh, your items will not be all over the place. You know? It has one zipper compartment and two pocket compartments at the other side. It can also be worn with a sling. You can use it as a handbag as well. But overall, it's rank B for me. And this is a very classy bag that you can use at, again, any occasion. This bag actually retails around $1,095. Alam nyo mga sis. I'm such a big fan of Dior, so we have a lot of Dior in this collection. This is another vintage Dior. The Dior's are like embossed design on the PVC. And this one has a very nice gold hardware here in front that uh, serves as a metal lock for the front pocket. And it has another... I'm so happy because this one has a puller. The original puller. This is a very rare piece because it's a mini Boston bag. The handles are in pretty good shape. It's a very sturdy bag and it's, you know, standalone. Kind of looks like a Papillon bag to be honest. Rather than a Boston bag because of circular thing that's happening here. The interior is made with leather. It has a cushion you are made in front plate inside and you have one pocket it can fit your iphone or your phone inside here with your wallet such a beautiful statement bag and another head turner for me for the next bag we have this beautiful prada canapa chingale frame bowler bag this one has a half leather handle also on the corners it's beautiful silver hardware you have that iconic prada triangular tag here in front this one also comes with the lock, original lock and key. I think this is like a light orange color, slightly yellow orange. I really, really like the shape of this bag, you know, not a lot of Prada bags have this type of shape. Yeah, it has its cards intact and it says Canapa Chingale. Pretty clean interior as you can see. The color of this is kind of like a khaki combination with orange. It has some normal signs of usage on the handle. Uh, normal signs of usage from the bag but rather than that doesn't have any scuffings on the khaki part I love so 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 love the shape of this bag and considering it's a canopy bag so Prada thank you so much for giving us this design next one this is the tote bag of the century for me this is so beautiful it just screams royalty for me this part of the christian Dior. this is the cd emblem here in front it has a calf exterior a long shoulder bag and you can actually remove the puller and again turn it into a necklace this one also has leather interiors has one zipper compartment this is perfect for the office i think you can fit a short folder inside plus your calculators your wallets everything your notebooks mini books this is the bag to go it's a very nice long shoulder tote bag probably give this a 9 out of 10 considering the hardwares are still gold for its age i think this came out at the 80s or the 90s 
the hardware doesn't fade that much for vintage bags because uh, they actually use pretty good materials. Last two bags to go. We have another addition to the group. It's our beautiful vintage Balenciaga sling bag. It is a kilted BBB for its logo Balenciaga and I really really love the design of this one because it's color red and it's kilted BBB plus the leather is made of caviar leather. Two zipper compartments, one pocket zip and one main zip in the middle. It also has a back compartment here. The tassel part is actually a zipper. It has a beautiful chain sling with the caviar leather wrapped around them. This is such a one-of-a-kind uh, bag and considering it's vintage, there's not a lot of stuff that's available online for this design because Balenciaga is like 100 plus years old. And I think you can make this into a two-way bag or a clutch bag or a crossbody sling. So it has a lot of use. So it's a multi-functional bag. So lucky to have found this we have another Christian Dior bag, but this is such a showstopper. This is our Christian Dior Lady Dior Kilted Canage in Lambskin East West bag. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, looking at it, this is just breathtaking for me, you guys. It has the iconic Dior charms here. It's complete and it has a kilted canage. And I actually saw Jisoo of Blackpink um, wearing a bag like this one. It's very similar. It's a Lady Dior but in rectangular shape. And what I love about this type of bag is that it has its own lock in key. You can lock the bag anytime you like. It has the iconic Dior Trotter um, monogram inside and you have a one pocket compartment and two open compartments here. It has very silver hardwares and for me, it has a total of rank AB condition. The only signs of use that I can tell is this one. I think this one has been restored already but you know, it's not noticeable if you're gonna use it. So. This one is our Kilted Kanaj East to West Lady Dior bag. So there you have it, guys. Those are my top picks. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And let me know which are your favorites from this collection. You can post down the comments. Thank you so much, dear sissies. And also, if you want to be part of our Star Suki Gang, here are our links to our Facebook and Instagram account. Give us a big thumbs up and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This has been your Sissy Therese. And I hope to see you guys on the next video. Be safe. I love you all.